It's spinning. What is it gonna land on? We are in the thick of it now. Shh, he's sleeping. Oh, let me have her. Look at this. Hey, don't be biting me. Don't be biting me. He's just waking up here. Such an amazing little guy and our first one of the night for the challenge. Let's see if we can find more. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Landon Share, and today we have a really cool video. I don't know what's about to happen because we have a spin the wheel generator going on right here with some crazy stuff on it. If it'll focus, there we go. Look at that, we got all sorts of craziness. These are all invasive species down here in South Florida. Before we spin this wheel and see what sort of animal craziness we're gonna get into today, I want to thank you guys for being so patient and waiting for these uploads. I know I haven't gotten a video up in a little while. I've been working on some other stuff. Life is happening and I haven't been able to get up a video for you guys, but we have a video today and we have a lot more coming out soon. So this is gonna be a lot of fun. We've got Cuban anoles, Burmese pythons, day geckos, green iguanas, toke geckos, spiny tail iguanas, chameleons, and red-headed agamas. These are just a few of the invasive reptiles we have in South Florida. So what we have to do is click to spin on this wheel. It's gonna randomly land on one of these things and then we are gonna have to go on the search for that reptile. I really don't know what is going to happen here, guys, but we are going to click it now and see just what this lands on. I think I click here in the center. Oh, there we go. It's spinning. What is it gonna land on? Oh, oh my gosh, it's chameleons. Woo! So I guess we have a winner, guys. We are gonna have to go looking for chameleons. And if you guys have seen it on the channel before, that means we have to go at nighttime. So what I'm gonna do is get all my stuff ready. I'm gonna call my friend Liam up, maybe Jacob, Jacob Fetter, see if he wants to go. And we are going to look for some invasive chameleons down here in South Florida. All right, guys, so Liam and I are now out at the chameleon spot where we hope we will find some chameleons. It's really cold out right now. I don't know what temperature it is. It's probably somewhere in the 50s, maybe high 40s, but there's a saying in the reptile world, when you're cold, they're cold. These reptiles are cold-blooded, including chameleons. They're lizards, as you guys know. This might be information you guys already know from watching the channel, but there are some new people here on the channel who haven't heard this before, and I welcome all of you new subscribers to the channel. Out here looking for chameleons, they're going to be on the ends of these branches. We're gonna have to walk these tree lines and look for the little chameleons or the big ones sitting on the ends of these branches so that they can wait for the sun to come up tomorrow and heat back up again. With that being said, Liam and I are gonna start looking. We have our flashlights, I have my headlight here. I don't know if we're gonna find any tonight, but hopefully we'll be able to find some. <sighs> if you can see our breath, you know these chameleons are freezing out here. So actually catching these invasive species and removing them from our ecosystem today is going to be beneficial for them because they're not invasive anymore. They'll be with us, they'll be in our care, and then also they're not gonna be cold. They'll be in warm temperatures, in some sort of enclosure, and they won't have to worry about surviving out here in these freezing temperatures. We have found our first chameleon up here. I don't know if you can see that, if you can zoom in there a little bit. I might have to push in there in editing. He is right there. He's not sitting very high, so that helps us a little bit. We've had to do some tree climbing missions before to get these guys. We're going in here. We gotta see if we can pull this branch on down. All right, let's see if we can get one little branch from this tree. Start working it down. Don't break on me. Oh, we almost got him. He's coming down here. Look at that, guys. Oh, trees are pulling me. Pulling me down. Okay. No climbing needed for this guy. Look at that. Our first chameleon of the night with the spin the wheel. Oh, spin the wheel challenge. Sorry, guy. I'm sorry to wake you up. It was a little bright with my headlight on him. Now that we've got him down, you guys can see that. Look how beautiful he is. He's just waking up here. Oh, and he is really cold. 
usually they'd be freaking out a little bit more right now if they were all warmed up and energized. That heat they get from the sun is how they get all of their energy. Look at that. Beautiful young male chameleon. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling him. He is cold. I'm sorry, guy. I know it's a cold one and we're disturbing you out here. But you're going to be coming home with us and you'll be all warm. And you'll be all cozy in your new little home. Look at the color. So this is a veiled chameleon. They're from Yemen. He can barely move around. You see how slow he's moving. Typically, they are a slow-moving animal. But right now, if he was warmed up, he'd be trying to run away as fast as he could. When they're babies, they're more green and they look like this. As they get older, the males will start getting these barred stripes on them, this bigger crest on their head, crest on their little, on their little chin there, as you can see those golden little <laughs> spikes he's got there, and they're, they're really soft. They're actually not hard at all. They look a lot spikier than they feel. But isn't he just beautiful? Every time I find these guys, it just amazes me that you can find them down here in South Florida and how perfectly they're able to blend in and adapt with our environment. Such an amazing little guy and our first one of the night for the challenge. And of course, guys, we have the chameleon shorts. Look, are those your buddies there? Are those your buddies? These are the good luck shorts. I actually want to do some merchandise soon. These aren't my own line, but I want to do some merchandise with animal patterns and lizards and all sorts of stuff like you guys see here on the channel. So comment below if you guys would be interested in some merchandise. We've got a little branch in here for him just as he was sleeping before. I know, buddy, I know. You're like, what's going on in here? He's gonna just go down to the bottom and figure out where he's at. We'll close this up and keep moving to see if we can find more. We've found our second chameleon just up here and it seems to be a gravid female. So hopefully we can show you guys just how cool this is because she's gonna look a lot different from the male that we just found. Now she's up here. I don't know how it's coming out on the camera but I'm gonna try to get her with this stick. Come on, let go with your tail. She's using that prehensile tail to hold on there. Shake it a little. Oh, oh, we have her. We have her. Look at this. Look at this. Let's bring this stick all the way down here. Here. Turn off my light so you guys can see. Oh, man. That is a big girl. She's a little grumpy. She's like, why do you have to disturb me right now? I don't know what's going on. She's got that big mouth there saying, if you come close to me, I'm going to bite you. She's hissing a little bit. These guys, although they're small, they're really built like dinosaurs. And she, with how chubby she's looking, look at that. She looks like she's got some eggs in there, potentially. So you can see just how different. This is basically a full-grown female. She might get a little bit bigger. She might stay this size. But she has a lot different markings, a lot of greens, more so solid colored with this yellow and blue markings. Hey, don't, don't bite me now. Don't bite me now. They have a strong bite. They got some serious jaw pressure in there and I do not want to get bit by them. I got bit by a big male one time and it really hurt my thumb. But this girl right here is gonna go into the bin and just like that other male, be reintroduced into another environment that isn't here in South Florida. Super cool. Let's keep looking. Hey, don't be biting me. Don't be biting me. We are in the thick of it now, searching high and low. The male that we found was about, you know, just above eye level. And then the female was way up there, so we needed the big stick to find her. But sometimes you'll find them just about this high, you know, closer to the ground, they can really be anywhere through all of this jungle. So we're going through this thick trail here and we're trying to find more of these little guys. I don't know how many more we're gonna get tonight. Comment down below what you think we're gonna find in the rest of the night. And just like that, guys, we have another sleeping 
chameleon right here. Sleeping here on a different type of plant than we found him on before. I'll pull him off here. Come here, little guy. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl yet. Oh, it looks like a little girl. Oh, I, I know you're ferocious. You're a ferocious little one, aren't you? Look at that. It's okay. He's cold too. I know I keep saying that, but it just impresses me how well these guys are able to handle it. The iguanas can't handle the cold nearly as well. These guys will latch onto the tree and just sit there and they're able to hold on till the morning, till that sun comes back up. The iguanas sometimes will fall off the tree and a lot of times they're sleeping over the water. So they land in the water and sadly, they don't have the energy to swim and they'll drown. But look at that. So this one's just a little smaller. You can see if I put my finger here, he'll start to curl his tail around it. And that's that prehensile tail that they have there. Using it as a fifth leg, another way to secure themselves to the branches. He doesn't really know what's going on right now, but he seems to be pretty calm. He's not acting like that female. Hey, I just said you were calm. And now you're gonna, and now you're gonna open your mouth like that. You don't have to be mean to me. I know we're getting kind of loud here and he's picking up our energy by me being a little loud. If I'm a little more calm, he'll probably shut his mouth again and relax. And, hey, 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 hey. We're here to help you. We're gonna get this young girl with the other ones. You can see she hasn't got her colors yet. She has these darker green stripes kind of developing here, but none of those yellows and blues like we saw earlier. Wow, you are just a grumpy one. We've been walking for about 30 minutes now and we haven't found anything except right up here looks like a big male chameleon. Bigger than the last one that we found. It's sitting pretty low too, so it'll be an easy catch. Let's see. Oh man, look at that. That is beautiful. Woohoo! Sitting here on this branch. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. It's sitting unusually low for a big male. I don't know why he is down this low. Usually the bigger males are gonna be in the higher part of a tree. And look, he's still sleeping. Shh, he's sleeping. He has no idea there is a full YouTube video being filmed on him right now. Well, look at his tail. So that's a telltale sign when you're seeing these things from far away that this is a chameleon and not another invasive species of lizard. Got that big curly tail that's usually all curled up in a ball. Seems to be a little oddly wrapped up right now. I'm gonna try to get him on our hand without breaking this branch. Let's see here, buddy. Yeah, you're okay. And you see those, their hands are perfectly adapted, perfectly designed to grab on to these branches. Look at that. I'll try to get that on my fingertip there. They got these little claws on the tips, just their little fingers there. And they got these V-shaped hands that just work like this. And you wouldn't think that it has very good grip, but let me tell you, I've had these things crawl around me before and they get on a soft piece of skin like your ear or something like that and it does not feel good at all. They have a really strong grip, even the babies. I'm trying to get them off here. There we go, I think we got them there. Oh, 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 oh. He just has no energy, but look at those bright colors. Now, a common misconception with chameleons is that they can change colors to match whatever it is that they're next to. But that's just not the case. If I put him on my shorts here, he's not gonna turn pink or bluish green like that. He just isn't capable of doing that. But with the different shades that they can turn, they can control their body temperature. It shows off their mood when they're seeing another female or fighting with another male. They might brighten up their colors. Sometimes these guys can even go dark brown, almost jet black. And that's what color they'll be in the morning to absorb all of that sunlight. That darker color helps them to heat up. 
looking at all the colors of these guys is always just amazing so I'm glad that the wheel landed on the chameleon and helped us in deciding getting out here today and showing these guys off for you his tail so stiff over here cold and locked up we're gonna get you in a warm spot buddy well that's it for today guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please like it Comment down below what your favorite part was. And if you guys want to see more of this stuff, well, subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys next time. And just when we thought we were done on the way back to the truck, we have found one more chameleon. Let's see. If we put this guy on top of our heads, can we put, a, can we put him like this? Is he going to stay? How's he looking? He's looking good? All right. Let's see. Chameleon on the head. And another chameleon right here in the vines. Let's see if we can pull this boy or girl down. Oh, I'll grab it like this. Oh, little ice cube. You are just frozen. And that is how you do it, guys. Chameleon on the head. Little girl here, big boy there. I thought we were done earlier. Now we're officially done. I'll see you guys next time.